So she's down visiting, and uh, I, I think um, I'm really enjoying it now, but at the same time, I'm dreading it a little. I know the next stretch is going to be kind of a long one before she may have time to come back again. This is, is probably the second longest stretch. I think the longest stretch here alone I did was eight months. This one is probably going to be right around six months, I think, before I have an opportunity to see Margo again. Maybe these are the best part of our years of our life that we're kind of missing together. And that's a bit frustrating. It was, it was really, really tough when Andre, uh, when she left this time, uh, for all of us, especially Andre. He immensely enjoyed having her here. But at the same time, it took away a lot from his focus whenever he was here. His training, actually, the quality of his training went down, and a lot of it was because he was constantly thinking, oh, well, when mom gets here in a little while, I'm going to do this or that. So I think as far as training-wise, it allows him to get back on track and focus more on his training. He, he did get off to a very rough start. Um, the first class that he was put in was the uh, competition forms class. And after about a month in the competition forms class, um, the coach just felt like he wasn't, uh, that his fundamental basics just weren't strong enough. Wang Zilon has been in my training class for the past two weeks. I do not know much about his past condition, but judging from his performance in my class during the last two weeks of training, I think neither his physical flexibility nor his other physical qualities are good. They expect your stances to be absolutely perfect. They expect your basic movements to be absolutely perfect. There is no uh, second best there. Everybody is absolutely perfect. And if it's not perfect, then they send you back. It is partly because he does not practice as hard as he should. The other reason is that he did not get enough strict training from the previous schools he went to. They moved him back to the basics class. Um, you know, you might think basics at a uh, regular martial arts school, you would think that they're just learning basic movements. And that's true, they are learning basic movements, but they, they have to be done to perfection before they allow them to move on. Their sports training is very hard and the pressure on the children can be very heavy. I used to be a student, so I can understand them in the same way. We thought this was actually a very good time to, to put him back. Um, he's nine years old now and it just made sense to go ahead and hold him back and make sure his skills were solid at this point. Chinese students can understand much better the internal spirit of Chinese martial arts, while foreign students do not pay as much attention to this, such as the expression of the eyes or the facial expressions, and also the consistency of all the movements. I think foreign students are more casual and they focus more on just showing the moves. They don't have a deep enough understanding of the internal spirit that is in martial arts. Uh, if he wants to really make progress, he will have to practice hard to achieve better flexibility. Uh, also, he should study much harder to learn Chinese so he can understand my words in class. He has to understand my meaning. Only by doing these things can he make progress. And I think that's right there is the difference between America and, and training in China. In America, parents, they want to see that constant um, leveling up of, of their, their child. But here, they want to see uh, an, a level of excellence even at the very the lowest levels. If the parents are too eager and hold high hopes for their children, they will often expect to see them become stars after training at our school. I do not think it is possible for the child to live up to those kinds of expectations, even though they pay a very high price. 
I think, as parents, they should know what their child is interested in and what to expect. As far as that choice, our school will spare no effort to help the child make good progress. We will also help them in all aspects of their life and academic studies. The staff at our school will do their best because that is their responsibility. Parents do not have to worry too much when they send their children to our school. However, the parents should adjust their own expectations of the child. The future is, is really up to Dre. We've, we've tried to take him and leave that up to him as much as possible. Whenever he expresses interest in something to the point that he wants to do it, which is one of the reasons why we're here, it's something we don't let him turn around and back out of. But whenever he leaves here, it's, it's going to be another opportunity for him to reconsider. You know, does he want to keep going down the path of, of doing martial arts? Is, or you know, does he w think he wants to get more focused uh, academically at school? Uh, honestly, I expect he'll probably continue with uh, Kung Fu and Wushu. Or maybe he'll decide to take up Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and we'll head off to Brazil next. But that's really up to him, I think. <laughs>